I, I'm, I'm sort of fascinated by what's going on. I'm, I'm almost too excited. I don't want to uh, jinx it. I mean, we have probably our biggest backlog ever. Uh, but the technology is what's really exciting me. I mean, literally to get the whole fleet into glass, to really get the 902 upgrade done, to have this new 6XX. We got this built in here. Um, look, it's, it's moving. We hope, uh, you know, Mark is saying he thinks it should be done by the end of 2018. I'd probably add another six months on for safety just because everything's new. You know, all of it's new, the tail boom, the, the four-bladed tail rotor, the vertical, the fuselage, uh, the cockpit. Uh, some of it's building on what we're already doing and, and, and piecing together, especially in terms of the cockpit and the weapons management system. Uh, but it's, it's, it's a lot of partners and it's a lot of work. But I will tell you, I've never seen people at MD more excited about anything. We've got a lot of young people working on this project, a lot of new engineers. Uh, a little more adept in 3D design and testing, um, but it, everyone's rallying around this brand new aircraft because we've never done that before. Well, everything's customer-led, right? We always work from the customer backwards on the wants and needs, um, but it was sort of a dream of mine to build our own aircraft start to finish um, not that MD doesn't have amazing products, but what I've done up until now is, you know, sort of innovation on top of innovation. And this one allows me to change both the product and the process by which it's built, move much more into, you know, fewer wires, much more wireless, more electronic, really taking the helicopter into the megatronic world. The really marriage of software, electronics, and mechanical parts in a new and different way and to meet what customers have dreamt about you know 5,000 or 5,500 pounds 500 nautical miles you know 140 mile, nautical miles to cruise um, it's just everything everyone's ever asked me for in one place look I we don't do a lot in oil and gas we don't have that perfect helicopter because we don't seat as many people as they like, you know, they seem to be more in, you know, the 169 and the, um, the Sikorsky market. Uh, I would be very nervous if I didn't have a big military business, but I do think oil prices, as they come back, will bring new aircraft. But I think the commercial market is a bit uh, slow on a relative basis. For us, because we start from a lower base than everybody, um, and because of this huge military boom and foreign military boom for us, we're in a very good place. It's, it's really the confluence of the business being good and profitable, but also that we have finally made this wave into aircraft where they need to be for our customer.